so once you publish the book, mm-hmm. and obviously you've done very well in business now, mm-hmm. I, I'm a big fan of obviously what, what you're talking about, mm-hmm. and I understand the standards, and, mm-hmm. and I, I think we've discussed how we should see ourselves as brands and mm. and you know I ask people what kind of brand are you you know are you a cheap a shampoo in, mm. in in the sales department <laughs> or, or are you premium yeah, yeah. champagne absolutely uh, yeah so I I'm, I understand uh, the standards explain to me in a little bit more detail what you uh, we'll talk about how you're doing research with mm. big brands and, yep. and and modeling their standards yeah, indeed but what are the standards the, yep. the perfect that you were talking okay. about okay so what we're looking at is when I began to work with people, remember I was the, the first guinea pig, I'd never heard this stuff before, it just came out. When I began to work with other people, what I noticed was that, um, see, most people have got no idea that they've run their life based upon standards. So let's remember, remind ourselves what a standard is. It's a basis, criterion, level, quality or rule that we set from within and we live our lives by, by the day. What people have realized when we have the conversation with them is that they're already living, running their lives by standards, but they're not aware of them. Because so, what, so why do you do this in terms of your social behavior, in terms of your drinking, in terms of the clients that you see, or the, the way that you, whatever it might be, the way that you allow someone to treat you in a relationship? Well, well, I did that when I was 21, and I worked for this company, and they always did that. So we always went drinking and eat at deep fried Mars bars on a Friday night after 17 pints. So, but you're 41 now. So where did that standard come from? I consider the source. I began to work out, which is for myself and then for others, is to consider the source of the standards, the rules, the qualities, the levels, the criteria, the basis we run our lives by in the seven key areas and make, and have this, make a decision. Where did that source, what, what was the source of that standard, should I say? And does that standard still serve me now? Consider the source, does it serve me now? And then, of course, there are a lot of things you can do to release and let go of the standards that no longer serve you. And you can put, set in force new standards, because nature abhors a vacuum. You can put in place new standards that can serve you your truth now, consciously. Because you do have them. Everyone has a standard around a relationship, you know, around the health, around the food that they eat. You know? And for me, the health thing, because I had stress and near depression. I was never actually depressed, remember that. I was just clinically unhappy. <laughs> but when you have you know, issues around you, who, how you're eating and you're not exercising and the wrong foods, well, where did that come from? Where did, well, friends, society, TV, the media, and when I was 21, okay, you're not 21 anymore. Are these standards honoring and serving you now? And in doing so, do they, do they allow you to honor and serve others? Because to the degree that you can honor and serve others and yourself, the world will reward you in a massive way that you can't even work out yet. So set some standards based on who you truly are. You can go through CBT, use some NLP techniques, you can use all types of patterns to get rid of those. Tapping, if you're into tapping, you can do all these things to get rid of those old models and old standards and, and rules. Set new ones that reinforce you. And this is where I began to get excited. because so the commitments I made in that moment when I first had this revelation, is that when I set a standard for myself, no matter what it is in my health, my business, my relationship, my family, whatever it is, I'm only going to do it today. That's my commitment. I'm going to stick to this standard just and put, put, to put my head back on my pillow tonight. Not for a day longer. This isn't about a week or for the month or the year. Just for today. Stick at this standard. 